In 2019, we introduced three new major features to War Robots – Pilots, Operations and Titans. This year, we put most of our attention on just two features, and you can surely say that both of these are way more ambitious. You might have already heard about the first one. War Robots Remaster is a colossal visual and technical overhaul that is set for a release this fall. It is about time we talk about the second thing. When we describe what is great about War Robots, gameplay customization comes to mind a lot. And yet there was one thing about that which has been missing until now. With lots of options for tweaking your robots outside of matches, there aren't many ways you can adapt your builds while you're already in combat. Get matched against enemies that aggressively use lockdown guns but have no anti-control on any of your robots? Well, too bad, still gotta deal with it somehow. Giving you a way to adapt to each situation on the go was one of our key goals with our second major feature of 2020. At some point we thought, why not give your robots a little helpers? And we did exactly that. Introducing drones. What are drones? Drones are combat units that hover around your robot, providing it with different kinds of support. They seem small when compared to robots, but in fact, they're about the size of a medium truck. They even have their own hangar, to which you will gain access on later levels. You can deploy drones with your robot, using the same power cells that are spent on active modules. Unlike pilots and modules, which are always associated with certain robots in your hangar, drones can be selected separately from your robot on the deployment screen. That means that you can select drones depending on what kind of help you need in the current situation right here, right now. Drones by themselves cannot do much other than hover around. Their combat functions are defined by microchips you install in them. There are multiple types of drones and each has a different number of microchip slots. Also, each drone has a certain energy capacity to allocate between microchips. Limited capacity means that you cannot just beef up your drone with the best chips possible and be done with it. You have to make certain trade-offs to fit into the limit, looking not just for the most powerful, but for balanced microchips combinations that will give you the best benefits for your fighting style. A bit more about microchips. As we have already noted, microchips are exactly what gives drones their abilities. Without them, drones would just fly around doing nothing but maybe looking fancy. Some microchips unlock their built-in weapons, some allow drones to boost robots' powers, and some make them react to certain situations like enemies freezing or suppressing you. Here are some examples of drone effects that microchips can unlock. First example, upon losing 15,000 durability in less than 5 seconds, activate Aegis Shield for 2 seconds. Second example. Upon accumulating 50% of freeze, increase defense rating by 25 for 5 seconds. You can get basic microchips from the store or find them in chests. Chips of higher tiers can be acquired by fusing together multiple basic chips of the same type. Better chips are more powerful but consume more of the drone's energy. So you have to find the balance between them while selecting what microchips you want to install. Microchips are also the core of drones' economy. You can get lots of chips from all the different sources like Black Market, Clan Tasks, Battle Rewards, the list is of course not final. Then you can fuse them together by using other chips of the same type, getting better ones in result. Everyone will receive their starter drone and a bunch of chips at the beginning for very cheap at the end of tutorial task chain. Basic chips themselves cost very little. Merging them requires gold. Getting drone bodies can cost gold or silver. We definitely don't want to make their costs too steep. Also, what is very important is that both bodies and chips can be obtained from event chests. We want them to replace all kinds of trash loot and potentially useless duplicates. We believe that getting a second drone that will immediately take place in your hangar is much more interesting and rewarding than, say, getting a second Aumin, which is amazing in itself, but you cannot use it because you already have one in your main hangar. Drones in combat Finding the best robot-drone combo for the situation can often tip the scales of any battle in your favor. 
He can build a drone with a powerful weapon and pair it with, for example, Lancelot to compensate for its own relatively low firepower. Or you can use the same drone with Loki in stealth. Even hidden, you will continue dealing some, not crazy, but still nasty damage. Here's another example. You can boost your squishy assassin robot with a drone that will protect it with a small shield when it receives damage. Or give the same robot a drone with bonuses against lockdown or suppression if you see lots of enemies utilizing these effects. Or just go for pure damage once you see an opening for going all in. There is no end to all the ways in which you can combine robots and drones. By using drones you can unlock new playstyles, playstyles you could never consider viable before. Drones are coming to War Robots later this year. We will unveil more details as the time goes. And meanwhile, on one of the upcoming test server sessions, you will be able to try out an early prototype and see whether or not you like having a drone sidekick flying beside you. See you around! 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 See you around. See you around. Пока.